Electroloom is a startup building a 3D printer for fabric, adapting a technique used for printing cellular tissue to make materials you can wear every day. The company is selling its first batch of printers on Kickstarter. They're hoping early adopters will give them insight into how they can make their hardware more useful for fashion designers. Depending on the design, a single print may require 8 to 14 hours to complete. In exchange for the long wait, you get a garment with no seams in any size. The solution that you guys actually use starts out clear looking. How do you actually draw out that fiber and once it's you know being sprayed onto your template? Right, so yeah, we start with these liquid vials of fabric solution, put them into a pump. The pump sends them through tubing and into these metal nozzles. Those metal nozzles are charged to a really high electric field. That electric field exerts a force on the ions in the solution and it pulls them into fibers which collect on our molds. How did you guys come up with this process? Right, so Electroloom actually uses a process called electrospinning, which we studied in college. Um, we were actually working in biomedical engineering labs using electrospinning to make these really tiny tubes of fabric that we would then grow into blood vessels. Um, and so we realized that we could kind of just scale this approach up and instead of making tiny tubes, make full-size garments. So if this was a known thing, why hasn't someone done this before? Yeah, good question. I mean, electrospinning, it's been around for a while, but it's been really limited to the biotech field and some other specialized fields. Um, and it's a challenging technology, working with high voltage, low voltage. I mean, there's a lot of components to it. So I think just no one has made the transition to something like akin to 3D printing. If they feel like cloth, what are they actually? Or is it yeah. something that like is almost, it's like, I can't believe it's not cloth. <laughs> Our main solution is a polyester cotton blend. Uh, that we dissolve into a liquid form to put into our electrospinning process. Um, we also just brought on a materials engineer and we have silk and acrylic fibers working. Or what are some other customizations that you'll be able to make down the road with these kind of printers? Like am I going to be able to print like a specific pattern onto the shirt or? Yeah, so we really hope to get there. So right now it's, it's pretty simple. We can make custom garments in like any 3D geometry, um, but it's limited to single materials and we've just started to experiment with color. So we're hoping to get a more robust suite of colors and we're also hoping to uh, eventually get to patterns and textures, which we've already started to play with. The fabric that comes off our machine right now, the white fabric, is dyeable, screen printable, just like any other fabric you'd buy. Um, but we actually want to eliminate that step and be able to produce colored fabric inside of the machine. So we've taken uh, fabric dyes and added them to our liquid fabric solution before it enters the machine and starts the electrospinning process. Um, and it does transition to one-off colored fabric at the end. We just need to play with the dye ratios. So like we start with a really deep dark blue right now and it comes out sky blue. So once we figure out you know, how much to put in to get the desired color, we'll, we'll be up and running with it. The current process takes eight to 14 hours depending on what you're making. Is there a way to accelerate that so it can become more yes. viable for people down the road? Yes, absolutely. So yeah, the first tank top that we printed took I think 15 hours. Um, very slow process. Um, so we've doubled the number of nozzles since then. We were working on tweaks to the solution to make it go faster. So it's, it scales really linearly. So just by doubling the number of pumps we use, the number of nozzles we use, we've already been able to bring that down to like seven-ish hours for our tank top. Um, and we're trying to refine that even further. Our ideal goal is to get it down to something like two hours, but uh, I don't know, it's gonna take a lot of R&D to get there. It looks like Electroloom will have its printers in the wild later this year. From there, it's a matter of making them faster and more affordable, following the same path as 3D printers before them. People who buy this, are they going to be supplying the fluids for you know fibers and you know different templates themselves? Are they gonna be getting them from you? Yeah, so right now there's no third party suppliers. So we will be handling all the fluid uh, fabrication. We'll be shipping them to our users um, for use in the machine. As far as the templates go, uh, users are completely free to manufacture them themselves. They can use 3D printed parts, they can use wood, uh, as long as they can actually coat it with a conductive material like a spray paint. Um, but we will also be functioning as a supplier for them as well. So we'll be supporting design help, as well as actually manufacturing these molds and shipping to them uh, if that's needed, for sure. And then besides the money that you might raise from the Kickstarter, how much are you hoping to raise, you know, maybe from outside investors? This campaign is mostly about, you know, developing the technology, building an early community, and actually starting to get people exposed to how to design around this kind of technology. We're looking to raise after the Kickstarter, but a seed round probably around a million dollars. Um, and that's mostly centered on actually building up a new team of engineers, people to come in and actually be able to scale the technology and you know, make it more robust. So we've been a team of three all the way up until this year, and now we're only four. So we've stayed pretty, pretty lean and pretty small, um, but as we start engaging with customers, we want to be able to actually support their needs, and that's going to definitely require more people.